So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you from this to this. I'm going to be showing you how to get bigger, fuller hair. This is perfect on second or third day hair when you just have like that lazy hair where it's just super flat and lifeless or maybe it's freshly washed but it's just not doing what you want it to do. This is a great way to give your hair some extra volume and lift and it's really quick and simple. It doesn't require like a full round brush blowout um, but it is going to give you the illusion of just much fuller, thicker looking hair which is great if you have fine hair or thin hair and you're just looking for ways to make it look like you have twice as much hair. So um, today I'm going to be sharing five of my favorite tips with you guys on how to make your hairline look fuller, how to give your hair some extra texture if it doesn't like to hold volume, and how to make your ends appear thicker as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing my favorite tips to achieve fuller, thicker looking hair, then make sure you just keep watching. Okay, so the first tip that I have, this is a tip that I love to do, and I just mix together in this spray bottle. This was a sea salt spray, but I created my own, and I will put the ingredients here somewhere, and I'll also leave it in the description down below. And I like to take this and separate the hair, and you want to spray this all at your roots. So I'm going to go through and kind of just like mist this all over until all of my roots are damp. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to take my blow dryer. Just want to make sure that you have a concentrator on your blow dryer. This is a concentrator and this is going to direct the airflow so that you can get it right up next to your root. And so now what you want to do is turn it on hot air with high velocity and we're going to be drying our hair in the opposite way that you wear it. Since we just wet the root, it's not going to take very long to blow it dry. It's just going to give you tons of volume. So let's go ahead and do that. already see like how much more volume I'm getting at my roots and I have like a ton of texture in my hair um, which if you have fine hair typically you like that feeling I do if your hair is already thick then you're probably trying to figure out how to get rid of the volume in which case you're probably not watching this video so all right so now we got lots of texture in our hair Before your hair has time to cool, go in with some big Velcro rollers. And the key to this is you want to make sure your hair is warm or hot when you're putting the Velcro rollers in. Um, I feel like I know a lot of people that will put Velcro rollers in while their hair is just like cool. And that literally does nothing. So I like to roll my bangs backwards, brush this kind of forwards, and we're going to wrap that back so that the Velcro roller is giving us the most volume. And I'm going to put one more here in the back. So I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that I've let that cool for just a couple minutes, I'm going to release these. Your hair look a little bit... to come in here. Okay, so if you're happy with the amount of volume that you have, then you can definitely stop at this step. But this technique gives you so much texture at your root that throughout the day you can just kind of go in and massage your roots and it's going to help give you like lots of lift. Make sure you part your hair in a different spot, like kind of change it up throughout the week or throughout the month. If you're a person that doesn't like to change their part ever, just start changing it like once a month um, and I know I've said that in another video but if you constantly wear your hair in the same part like I tend to wear mine down the middle a lot so you can see when I put my hair in the middle it's going to be a lot flatter here because that's just where it wants to go but 
if you kind of like flip your part throughout the day or kind of wear it to one side one day and then not the other, you can see how much extra volume it's going to give. And it's also not going to wear out your part. A lot of times if people part their hair on the same side, it can actually start to get thinner in that spot. So that's a good way to kind of make your hair look fuller is to change up your part. So my next tip is to make it look like your hairline is not as thin as it may be um, or if you have dark hair and your roots come in lighter like I do then sometimes your part can look a little wide or thin. So a good way to combat that is to take a dark matte eyeshadow that matches your hair color and so I'm going to be taking this color, it's matte, no shimmer to it and I like to take it on a sponge and you can just kind of take it in and dust it onto your part line. This is especially great if you're wearing your hair like in some sort of like ponytail maybe where you can see where the hair separates or if you wear your hair kind of in like the little top knots and then your middle part is like really pronounced. This will help disguise that. Another way to do this is to get some sort of dry shampoo that has color in it. Um, so this is the Batiste dry shampoo and it is in the dark one for brunettes. This will be a little bit similar in that sense. Obviously using a shadow is more precise if you're really wanting to like precisely put it in a specific area. But if you kind of want to overall um, just kind of darken the root a little bit, you can also use a dry shampoo that has color in it. Um, also a dry shampoo, as you know, is powder, so that is going to absorb any oil, which also gives your hair extra texture, which in turn is going to give you volume. So my last and final tip to achieve fuller looking hair is to get some hair extensions that are the same length as your haircut. Um, you can use longer ones if you're wanting to do if you're wanting your hair to appear longer. But if you're someone that doesn't want anyone to know you're wearing extensions, you just overall want your hair to look thicker. Try getting a set of extensions, take them to your salon, and have your stylist cut them at the same length as your hair now. And they are so easy to clip in in the mornings, you don't have to spend any time styling them. I like to do that on days that I don't really want to look like I'm wearing extensions, but I still feel like I want a little extra volume. So I'm just going to clip in three of the bigger wefts so that you guys can see, but I mean they just blend right into my natural hair texture. I didn't have to go in and like curl them or flat iron them. I usually just leave them kind of natural because I like more of that kind of messy look anyways. You can also go in if you like to tease your hair just a bit. That obviously is going to make your hair look a lot thicker at your crown. Um, and with the products we put in there at the root, it's going to hold the tease really, really well. And then you can go in and just set everything with a little bit of hairspray. Where we put the darkness in, like the dark powder in, you can see that you don't have any like really heavy parts in there so it makes your hairline look a lot fuller. The tees and the texture at the root made your roots look a lot fuller and thicker and then the extensions added volume at your ends. So this is a great way if your hair is fine or it's just second day hair and it's laying really really flat. Um, you can use any of these tips just to kind of go in really really quick to add some extra volume without having to rewash your hair completely. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed these five tips to fuller hair and leave any comments down below for me if you have any questions or if you do any tricks to your hair to give extra volume that I didn't mention in this video and that way we can kind of all feed off each other's advice. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye!